Let's get to Jim and stop trading. Well, uh, Carl, it is at times they are changing Bob Dylan market. People, the slow ones now or later be fast. And what I see is this. I don't want to buy the Altices. I want to think about the next day or the next day. I don't want to recommend a stock that's up three or four. That provides no value. Procter & Gamble is the stock that's been hurt the most by the currency. They said there would be $800 million hit in currency. It was going to wipe out all their gains from the decline in commodities. They uh, got crushed in Argentina. They've moved out of that. Uh, this is the company that has a good yield, a dividend aristocrat, will do well. But look, today it's a, an A student. They don't want the A students. In the end, you come back to the honor roll. And this company is summa cum laude. So no worries about lack of pricing power? Or no, because they've, their intellectual property has been re really good. They've, they've been able to take price pretty much consistently. It's not the kind of stock people want now, but I just don't want... I'm mindful of what David was saying, which is that they're buying stocks that if... You know, they're trying to buy something, an algorithm saying buy it, and then have someone take you out of it. That's a greater fool theory. I like a stock like this because it's for sale, and it is the biggest beneficiary of the big cap stocks. Of a weak dollar. That's good. That's good. How about tonight? Okay, I have a stock, Chewy, which uh, makes pictures of your dogs. Uh, is a company that prospered for a long time, and then Amazon came in, and I think Amazon crushed it. But I think they have a good business model. We're going to have them on tonight. What a wild day, huh? It is kind of crazy. It really uh, best, is. Uh, uh, Russell's up. Uh, strongest in more than 10 months. Yeah, there's yep. someone on Frank's show that talked about that's really where the action is. I prefer to buy a Wells Fargo or a Morgan Stanley, which my travel trust owns, and have lagged the market hideously down a lot. And that's another thing to buy. Wells Fargo. Charlie Sharp's doing a great job. No one cares. No? Sharp's great. Nobody gets a Sharp. Okay. Uh, you know Charlie, right? I, I do a bit, yeah. Well, should we call him? No. After you dance a little bit more on no, our way out. We don't need Here to call. <laughs> Thank you. It's going to be a great robot future. It's going to be one big dance party. <laughs> well, David, that's probably what we're going to have to take off because we certainly won't be needed here. How about a, how about a split screen here, yeah. really quick, before yeah. we go? Just give no, it to us. No, one more. Come on. Send us no. to break dancing. I know. Look, but Sam Alden said it. There's no need for any of us, basically. <laughs> Bad money, 6 p.m. Eastern time.